Hi, I'm Mike with Craft Supplies USA, and today we're going to show you how to apply Dale Nish's favorite finish to your wood turnings. Dale Nish taught this process of finishing in our wood turning workshop program for over 25 years. It was his go-to method and is still one of our favorites. It produces a nice, even appearance on high-figured woods with changing grain directions and splotchy woods like cherry. It's also extremely durable and requires little maintenance and it doesn't darken the wood like an oil finish. We'll need a few supplies to complete the finish. Deft clear wood finish, lacquer thinner, a top coat finish like water locks or armor seal, a finish bottle, sandpaper, a fine woven pad or steel wool, a cotton cloth, and wax. Before we get started, we need to thin the deft clearwood finish 50-50 with lacquer thinner. This will make it a lot easier to apply and it'll dry faster too. Give the deft a good shake to mix all the solids together and then pour a one-to-one -one ratio of deft and lacquer thinner into a finish bottle. Now let's get started with the finishing process. Start by thoroughly sanding the piece through at least 320 grit. Take your time to remove all the scratch marks, blemishes, and torn end grain because the finish will accent them which we definitely don't want. Using a rag, clean off any dust on the piece. With the lays stopped, apply a generous coat of the thin deft onto the piece and let it soak in. End grain areas tend to need more finish. So look around the piece and apply more deft to any dull areas and let them soak in a bit longer. While the deft is still wet, wipe the piece dry with a clean cotton cloth and let it dry for about an hour. This will create a barrier that will prevent the top coat from darkening the wood. Now that the sealing coat is dry, apply the top coat with a fine woven pad or steel wool. Dale liked to use water locks, but similar finishes will work just as well. Use the fine woven pad to wet sand at slow speed, removing any raised grain and any shiny spots remaining on the surface. Keep wet sanding until you've got a nice, consistent sheen. It shouldn't take too long. Now buff the workpiece dry with a soft cloth, allowing 30 minutes to dry. If you want to build up the gloss, keep adding more coats. I'm going to stop at two coats of water locks for a nice, close to the wood finish. Once the water locks is dry, final buffing can be done using a soft cloth and some wax. Dale liked to use lemon oil wax, so that's what I'm using here. The wax doesn't add any protection, but it gives the piece a nice soft fill and it smells great too. Well that wraps up this pro tip. Now we've got a durable, natural looking finish on this highly figured piece of silver maple. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to visit us online at woodturnerscatalog.com for the largest selection of wood turning supplies in the industry.